All right, what is going on, everybody? And today I am here with. I guess this will be episode two or three. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet of the Ultimate Rebuilding series. So you might be like, Matt, like, why are you in the year 2021? Like, if you're coming over from the YouTube stream I did a couple days ago, like, why wasn't this uploaded? So I guess what I did with YouTube, I don't even know. Like, it didn't upload, or I didn't get to save the live stream. So I'm really upset. So it kind of got deleted. If you, none of you saw the, if you didn't see the YouTube live stream, you probably will not ever know what happened so this was the team we built and it was really good like it was a really good team and i'm upset that uh you guys won't be able to see it like thon maker george hill on the middle exception jabari jimmy butler Giannis, Giannis's brother it was a cool team but yeah we're in the year 2021 so i guess this might be what episode two i'll call it or maybe i'll go episode three i don't know uh so let's pick our team today i'm gonna stop it now we get the Indiana Pacers. Okay, so we're staying in the Eastern Conference. I'm all right with that. How bad did they do? Let's see. They were... Did they do good? They just missed out on the playoffs. Do they still have Paul George? Yes, they have Lloyd Markin and Miles Turner, Jonas Valanciunas, Marcus Aldridge, Holy Big Men. Yeah, we're going to trade definitely one of these big men for a for a guard or something. So we have two years to rebuild this team. Carmel Anthony is retiring in 2021. Okay, that's a little bit younger than I thought. He gets his jersey retired by the Nuggets. Not even the... Well, I guess, yeah, the Knicks really wouldn't want to. But we're going to decline all of these. We're not... I think the next episode, we might do an expansion team. But we're just going to keep it the same for this. So we're going to be projected the seventh pick in the draft. Wow, okay. I'm cool with that. So we get pick seven. That's fine by me. I think it's auto-generated rookies, right? Uh, unless we get lucky that there is a... A junior, but there is no junior, so it's so nothing too special. But one of these beasts will turn out to be like the next. Oh my god, this guy's a beast, Adam Bradford. Hello, okay, okay. Uh, Joey Gadsden, though, a six seven shooting guard. I might trade up to get him, I might try to trade up to the number two pick because we have a plethora of big men. Let's sign, let's sign Kevin McHale. Why not for a four year deal, even though we're only doing this for two years? But let's just sign him anyway, and we're gonna accept that. Okay, we're going to go to the NBA draft now, and then we're going to move on from here. So, NBA draft, we're going to go to proposed trade. We're going to go to pick seven. Well, first, I want to trade Valanchunas, and Plum oh, Plumley expired. So, Aldridge is making 32 goddamn million a year. Who has the number two pick, though? It is the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, they're probably not going to be able to do Valanchunas. And, and my battery has died on my controller. Nice. All right, guys. So we can try to do pick seven in Valanchunas to get the number two pick. They're not liking it. But what about if I throw in another first and second? I think they'll do this. Okay, so we have the number two pick in the draft. So that's cool. And before we advance, we have actually a really good shooting guard here in Brook Moore. But I, I still want to go and not get the other guy. I want to make a trade involving Marcus Aldridge, Tareen Prince. No thanks. Kid Gilchrist. Denzel Valentine I might honestly do from the Jazz. Or Buddy Hill, but then we'll have so many shooting guards, so I'm not going to do that. Rubio's getting paid $26 million a year. Wow. Clint Capella is getting paid $27 million a year. That's what the NBA's came to or come to. So we're going to do a trade for the Suns for just the first round pick. Thank you very much. They were actually rumored to get him in real life when he signed with the Spurs that year they were going for him. So actually, I didn't realize we had a really good shooting guard in the works. But, now nah, we're going to get Joey Gatson. The guy's going to be a beast. So I'm going to take Joey Gatson. And, yeah, we're going to take him right now. If 2K, well, unless that center falls to us, because then I'm going to take him and I'm gonna, then I'm going to move Miles Turner to power forward. If this, if the center does not go number one overall, which he most likely will be doing. And let's see, did they take the center? They did. Who's a beast for the Nets? So hopefully I get the Nets. And we're going to take Joey Gatson. Guy is going to be a stud. He's an 81 overall. Credit, we only get two years to use him, but who cares? Like, he's going to be a stud for the two years we got him. Joey Gatson, welcome to the squad. But also, like, and if the, uh, the part you guys missed in the last video, it was the 2019 draft class with, like, Marvin uh, Bay, Bagley, uh, Zion Williamson, and then it was, like, the 2020 with LaMelo Ball and that stuff. So, he's an 81 overall. Very nice. We're going to, of course, sign him. And two bar options. Logan, Allen, and Turner declines his deal, meaning, meaning he's hitting free agency, but I'm going to go after him. Or should I go after Nikola Jokic? Ooh, Nikola Jokic is a little bit better and only a year older. So, I might do that. Um, boy marketing definitely making him qualifier. We'll offer Mr. Turner a deal, but we have a lot of money to spend. It looks like in free agency. We were, uh, ooh, Plumley only wants like four mil a year. Yes, sir. Mason, I will definitely give you that. Yogi Ferrell wants a test. Shelvin Mack wants a minimum, so that's cool with me. So let's go here to free agency. Giannis onto the Koopa was here. Damien Lillard. Okay, we got to go after either Damien or Isaiah Thomas. Wow. 
this draft class is looking just fine. Okay, so yeah, let's offer these guys contracts. Unfortunately, and we'll even offer Giannis a deal. Why not? Why not offer Giannis a deal? So let's give Giannis a deal. Are we his number one offer? Nope, it's the Bucks. Are we Lillard's number one? We are Lillard's only offer, and we're we're this uh, this Isaiah Thomas's third offer. Can we get Lillard? Isaiah Thomas goes to back to Boston, and now Lillard has three contracts because uh, everyone that wanted to um, go for Thomas. Okay, back to Lillard, and we're not even going to get Lillard, and we need a point guard desperately. Damn it. All right, we're going to go after Bradley Beal, and I'm going to trade him if we can get him, or I'm going to go after, like, Nikola Jokic, and then we're going to trade probably Miles Turner or somebody or do something. So I'm actually upset right now. Shove him back. Wow, the signing we all wanted. Giannis signs elsewhere. Jokic signs elsewhere. Can we get someone? Oh my god, Lillard signs elsewhere. If we don't get Beal, I'm gonna cry. Okay, we get Beal, we get Plumley. Where's Miles Turner? Do we? Why don't we have a contract out for Miles Turner? What the heck? We're signing Miles Turner, please. So, okay. And Miles Turner, I swear, if you don't accept our deal, we probably could have got like Gordon Hayward and Miles Turner. I'm an idiot. I probably could have did that, but. I'm very dumb, not even thinking that, so I'll see you guys at the start of next season with, I guess, I don't even know what the roster is going to look like. Alright guys, right now we are trade finding Bradley Beal for a point guard. If some team wants to offer me a point guard, I'd be very happy and grateful. Dennis Smith Jr. is really that the best thing we're going to get. Is that really the best point guard we're going to be getting for him? I want to, I want to say elsewhere. Let's try to get Kyrie Irving for Bradley Beal. Actually, that's not going to work. Ah, eh, we're, like, I would give up three first round picks if they want to do that for Kyrie Irving. Four first round picks for Kyrie Irving. And a second. Okay, you know what? We're not getting Kyrie Irving. There is Lamelo and Monzo. Deloading would be interesting if we can get deloading for Bradley Beal. And they're not interested, but if I throw in two first round picks, you will be interested. And they do it. Okay, so the team is going to look as placed. It is D'Andre De Russell, Gatson, the rookie, Paul George, Markin, and Miles Turner. Then we have Brooke Moore, Plumley, Logan, Grayson Allen. Oh my god, we have so many shooting guards. And screw you, Grayson Allen. I don't know why you're on this team. Uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season with what we're going to go. I think we'll get a top one of the top seasons in the Eastern Conference. So, you guys, this Nick Johnson guy is a beast. Uh, like, the guy, I think it's the 2020 draft class, but the guy who made it, his name is Nick Johnson, and he put himself in the game. It's whatever. But that center that was drafted by the Nets, he's from England. Guy is a beast. 14 and 8 in his rookie year and two blocks. Yeah, I hope I can definitely use him throughout the series. Julian or Jillian Olsen. It's a little bit of a girl's name. Uh, he gets six men of the year. Nick Johnson, yeah, I, I, I'm not even talking about. I'm not giving this guy any praise. Colin Sexton, 16 and 10, most improved. Shout out to you, Colin. And Coach of the Year goes to an auto-generated coach on the Rockets. This is on the first team in the year 20, I think 22. On the second team, uh, we're not. We haven't seen any any person or any Pacers, I should say. Any Pacers? Nope. J.C. Olsen, guy. Oh, guy is a beast. He was shifted in 2020. Any other auto-generated players that I would not know of? No. Did Nick Johnson make a 1B first team? Yep, he did. Okay. All defensive first team. There's RJ Barrett, a shooting guard making it. Cool. And no Pacers at all. But we're going to get Joey Gatson, which is fine by me. He averaged 13 points, 4 boards, and 2.5 assists. Uh, we, yeah, we got the 8 seed. So we didn't even do that good this year. Uh, we're taking on the Celtics in round 1. Who have Marco Fultz, Chris Middleton, Nick Johnson, Derek Favors, Steven Adams, Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, Miles Bridges. Yeah, team is freaking stacked. Knicks are here. Uh, they have a good team. They actually have a really good team. Stats, though. These are the stats. Russell led the team in points. Paul George. He's on the decline. He's 31. I think I'm going to trade Paul George in the offseason. Brooke Moore did well. Marketing did well. Turner, Gatson, Logan. Everybody did well, but Paul George is probably going to get traded in the offseason. I'm sorry, Pacers fans. I don't know if you'll like that or not, but we're going to advance here. Let's see who wins it all. Let's see who wins it all and gets the finals MVP. Who's building a dynasty? It is the Rockets. James Harden still winning finals every piece in the year 2022. Shout out to you, James. So we have Igudala retiring, Dwight Howard, Wuol Dang, JJ Redick, Rudy Gay, Sean Livingston, Wilson Chandler, Omri Caspi. All these guys are retiring. You can pause and see. Damn, that's crazy. Anybody going to the Hall of Fame on staff? Craig Pavlovich, no, he's retiring from us. Dwight Howard going to the Hall of Fame. Shout out to you, Dwight Howard. Prime Dwight Howard on the Magic was literally... Oh, there goes Marcus Saul. Was literally like one of the... Was my favorite center of all time watching Dwight Howard play for the Magic. He was so freaking good. So we're going to look at the draft lottery. Ooh, we have a top pick. What? Wait, no, never mind. We don't, oh, never mind. I thought I saw Pacers, but it was probably the Warriors and I'm just blind. Okay, disregard that. We... I don't even think have our first round pick. Oh, no, we do it. It's at 19. 
Safe signings, we're good on coach. All right, I don't know if I want to make my pick at all. So, let's see. I do want to trade Paul George. What can I get for Paul George? And, ooh, we have two first. Oh, from the Sun. So, that's what I did see. Hmm. Um, okay, let's try to... I can get Lonzo Ball. I can get Lonzo Ball. Okay, you know what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can get Jokic. Michael Porter Jr., Oh, do I do this Lonzo, but we have D'Angelo Russell. I would do this Lonzo any other day, but we have D'Angelo Russell. So I think I'm going to do the Michael Porter Jr. He's a beast. And we're getting Buddy Heald, who I can trade. Mm, I wanted to do Lonzo, but we don't need Lonzo because we have D-Loading. So welcome to the team, Michael Porter Jr. Is he making a lot of money? If he's not, a, ooh, oh no, he's making 24 mil. Never mind. So I'm going to trade Buddy Heald because we have a plethora of shooting guards. So two first round picks on the Bulls. That is cool with me. I can end up trading those or doing ever what we like with them. So let's now see what well, we don't have any draft picks. Do we have, how much money do we have? We have 18 mil in cap. We have our big three here. Russell, Turner, Porter. Oh, I don't know if this team's going to win at all. We definitely need to go after somebody in free agency with a mid-level exception option. Team player options. Let's bring back Moore and Logan. Um, Kyrie Irving's heading for agency, but he probably will not have it. I don't want, I don't know why I offer Grayson out. Oh, uh, and Moore and Mark a free agent. Yeah, we might be screwed. Grayson Allen, you're walking. I don't care. I don't care if you're like a 90 overall. I'm not bringing you back. So, is there any old people? Clay Thompson wants so much money. DeAndre Jordan? Damn, I thought he would want a mid-level exception. Uh, no. No. We could sign Avery Bradley and then trade him. That could be something if we want to do that. So, let's offer him all that money. Because we're not getting any other of these studs. Yeah. So, let's simulate day one. We don't get Bradley. Can we get Bradley on day two? We don't get Bradley. Can we get Bradley on day three? Yes, we can. Marketing, just please come back. Marketing, you don't need to leave us. Okay, so we get Marketing. We have nine people on this team. Anybody else really old that would want to come here for Marcus Aldridge on the minimum? So yeah, I'll probably just sign a couple of these veterans, Jeremy Lin, and I'll see you guys at the start of the next season. Right, guys, I'm trading Jabari Logan and Avery Bradley for Michael Bridges and Moses Brown from the Suns. And we're going to move on from here. So we just, we had too many shooting guards. So let's see the team. It's Russell Godson, Porter, Markin, Turner, Brown, Moore, Bridges, Win. All right. We, this is the last year, guys. So this is an interesting team. Probably the worst team we built so far. But let's try to win a championship with this squad at the end of the year. All right, guys. This Nick Johnson guy is going to be literally a legend probably throughout this series. I kind of low-key want to, like, since he wasn't a real or an auto-generated player, I want to bump his ratings down because it's going to be 16 this guy but this guy john fordham who was the number three overall pick from wisconsin gets rookie of the year good stats for him i guess they lost kyrie irving in the cap so they did draft a point guard greg Monroe gets six man of the year for dallas he averaged 12 and 8 uh nick johnson defensive player of the year for the celtics and then frederick Silvestri. i think we've gone over him before point guard from france he gets most improved and kevin mccall hey we get coach of the year we went 62 and 20 this is on the first team this is all on me. Second team, there's Shimmy Shitu. Shitu, I think that's how you pronounce his name. A 6'10 power forward on the Jazz. He was a beast this year. Any Pacers? No Pacers. What? Uh, there's Michael Porter Jr. who averaged 21, 9.8, and 4, 2 and 2.3. A lot better numbers than what we would have gotten out of Paul George. So I'm glad we made that trade. And yes, yeah, so we got the one seed. And it was the best record in the NBA. Wow. Definitely not what I expected. This team did very well. Gadsden 16, Russell 16 and 9, Markin in 12 and 8, Moore 12 off the bench, and then we had Turner 11 and 6. Did he start? No, I don't even know who started, but Moses Brown's a beast as well. Bridges and all that. So I'm not even going to edit this. Who? 29. So yeah, Brown got more minutes, but I don't care. We won 62 games, so I'm going to leave it the same. Let's simulate the first round against the Detroit Pistons. And I swear, if we lose. Okay, we won in 6. Take it on the Hawks, save DeAndre Aiden and Romeo Langford. That's two studs right there. I'm kind of scared because they have those two studs. Wow, we just won in seven. Taking on the Heat. They got Tyler Johnson, Frank Natilica, EJ Montgomery, Eric uh, Sesvold, Justice Winslow, and Notchwitz. Okay, interesting. So let's win. Please go to the finals. Yes, we're going to the finals to take on the Thunder, who have Muhammad Bamba, Westbrook, Sarge, Donovan Mitchell, Wade Baldwin, J uh, JC Olsen, who's really good. So... Let's take this. Let's simulate the current round. And we get swept. No. Well, guys, you know it's two years. You can only do this. And we got swept. 
Yeah, at least we made it to the finals. I'll definitely say at least I'm happy we made it to the finals. Is there any juniors? Oh my god. I definitely want to draft this guy. Dakuas Diamantopoulos. But yeah, interesting name. Is there any juniors down here? No, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, that is gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. Let's try, see if this ultimate rebuilding series, I don't know if I'm gonna call this number two or number three, can hit over 400 likes. Yes, yeah, so leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment what you guys thought. And yes, yeah, so I don't know if this is gonna be still live streamed. We'll definitely see because I'm scared something like that's gonna happen again. But yeah, that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. Double upload today on this channel and my main channel. You guys will see. I don't know if you already saw, but if you saw it already, it'll be a next my league, I think episode 11 or something like that. So that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.